Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. Before I got my job on the Battleship, I was a site manager here on the Coast Guard Cutter, formerly known as USCGC Taney. Taney is an interesting comparison to Battleship New Jersey because both ships were built in the Philadelphia Navy Yard during the Great Depression. Uh, and both ships did part of their construction in dry dock number three at the Philadelphia Navy Yard. In Taney's instance, uh, she was laid down in 1935 and completed in 1936. And three of her six sister ships were built right alongside of her in dry dock number three of the Philadelphia Navy Yard. Battleship New Jersey, of course, was built between 1940 and 1943 on one of the battleship slipways. Uh, and after she was launched, she was taken into dry dock number three to get her propellers and rudders attached prior to being refloated for completion. Both ships served their country for approximately 50 years. In the battleship's case, being a Navy ship uh, and being an expensive ship at that, she was decommissioned in between her many wars. So as you probably already know from this channel, she was in commission from 1943 in World War II up until 1947. Uh, she was decommissioned then, excuse me, until 1948. She was decommissioned for two years and brought back in 1950 for the Korean War and then decommissioned again in 57. She was brought back from 68 to 69 for Vietnam and decommissioned into the mothball fleet until 1982 when she was reactivated uh, and served until 1991. She then stayed in the mothball fleet in Bremerton, Washington from 91 to 99, and parts were stripped off of her for use on other vessels. Uh, finally, in 99, she was stricken from the naval list, taken to Philadelphia, and turned into a museum ship. Taney, uh, on the other hand, the wars were just a punctuation to her normal Coast Guard service. She was commissioned in 36, and she served in the Pacific uh, protecting Pan Am airline flights, uh, as well as doing other search and rescue, law enforcement, and uh, drug busting duties. When World War II happened, uh, she was up armed and served out of Pearl Harbor for a period of time, uh, protecting the ships there from submarines. That's where she was during the attack on Pearl Harbor. She then served doing convoy runs to the South Pacific during the Guadalcanal campaign uh, and to some of the atolls during the Midway campaign. Later on, she transferred to the Atlantic, served in the uh, Atlantic and Mediterranean doing convoy runs, returned to the Pacific to be the flagship for amphibious forces during the invasion of Okinawa, and uh, then took in the occupation of Japan, where she was the first Coast Guard cutter to enter a Japanese port after the war. When the war was over, she resumed doing her peacetime duties of uh, search and rescue, law enforcement, and drug interdiction. She did this for uh, a number of years in the interwar period, and she also added ocean weather stations to her uh, list of duties. She took brief breaks for two tours in Korea and a year long tour off the coast of Vietnam. Uh, and then she transferred to the Atlantic where she continued to do law enforcement, search and rescue, ocean weather station, and drug busts uh, in the Caribbean and Atlantic. She was finally decommissioned on December 7th, 1986. The last warship left the float that fought during the attack on Pearl Harbor. She went immediately from being a decommissioned vessel, being a museum ship in Baltimore. She did not go through a long mothball period in the yard. Uh, and so parts were not stripped off of her. So she is a much more complete vessel than the battleship. Both of these ships were dinosaurs at the end of their service. Dinosaurs with modern technology grafted on. I love walking around each ship and looking at the various pieces of archaeological evidence, the weld marks where fittings used to be. In New Jersey's case, 
These fittings were added during brief periods of activity. In Caney's case, they were added along her long service life. You might have noticed from the filming that we are currently uh, underway on Caney. We're filming this video on the way to dry docking her at the Curtis Bay Coast Guard Yard. At the end of her service in 1983, she was dry docked there. Uh, and then again in 2003. So this is the first time in 18 years that she'll be high and dry out of the water. Stay tuned over the coming weeks and we'll continue to post content of her in dry dock. And uh, thank you for watching today. If you would like to support our uh, YouTube channel, check the link in the description below for a link to our GoFundMe campaign. Anything you donate there goes back to the Battleship New Jersey Museum and our YouTube channel in particular. If you would like to support the Coast Guard Cutter Taney during her dry docking, we've also put a link there uh, where any donations made go specifically into this project. Thank you for your support, and I'll see you next time.